Hello, and today I will show you the third and final part for installing Ubuntu in VirtualBox. If you are doing this not in VirtualBox, then the last part will have finished your installation. But for VirtualBox, as you can see, if um, if I change the size of this, like if I press on full screen, it doesn't change. It is still tiny. So what you need to do to fix this is, uh, let me minimize the VirtualBox manager. So what you need to do is press on the Devices menu, then click on Install Guest Editions. You will get a message box that says, you have just inserted a medium with software intended to be automatically started. Choose what application to launch. Make sure that it says open auto run prompt. And don't click on always perform this action. It shouldn't be clicked automatically. So then click on OK. Um, you will get this pop-up, which asks you if you want to run it. Yes, you do want to run it. Then you will need to type in your password to authenticate the terminal command and then it'll say something about VirtualBox guest editions for Linux it will install this and this part always takes a while for me if it is taking a while then just wait it should be done after a bit of time so I will um, pause the video and come back when it is finished Okay, I'm back and it is now finished installing the VirtualBox guest editions. And that didn't take that long, it took about one or two minutes. So now it says press return to close this window. So what you want to do is just press the enter key and make sure that your uh, VirtualBox window is selected. Then uh, it will be over. So then you want to go down here and right click on this, press on ID controller primary master and then click on remove disk from virtual drive. In your virtual machine this should now go away. If it doesn't then try right clicking on it and pressing on mount. Then it should go away. Now you will need to start your computer in order to finish this so click on the power button again and then press on restart click restart and it should restart your computer obviously by the way all these pop-ups that you get you will get them every single time you boot the operating system unless of course you press on do not show this message again and now as you can see come on Ubuntu that is a rude interruption Anyway, as you can see, the window is now a lot bigger, and if I press on full screen, it automatically changes to fit it. This will also highly improve your other graphics capabilities, such as if you open your terminal, for instance, again. As you can see, it did a little effect there, and if I minimize, instead of getting a black box that zooms down here, it will get a bit and like zoom the whole thing down and if you close it'll kind of fade out so now this is all and if you want me to make any more Linux tutorials then please comment in the description I mean not, not in the description I write in the description please comment in the comments and tell me what I should make it about and I might make some by myself about things like the all famous 3D cube and update manager by the way you can press on install updates now and that is about all so yeah that's about all bye for now